Oh, man. That was a bad decision. Let me catch my breath here. Hold on, hold on. Keep hiding me. Keep hiding me. Uh, my name is Adonai Zedek. I am king of Jerusalem. Uh, you can call me Zeke. Man, okay. Okay, here, let me tell you, let me tell you my story. It all started when I heard that the God of the Israelites helped Joshua and his army defeat this big walled city called Jericho. Man, I heard that all they did was march around it for seven days and the walls came tumbling down and it was a complete victory. And then I heard that Joshua defeated I, another one of our major cities, and then I heard one of our key allies, the Gibeonites, had gone to Joshua and became their servants so they wouldn't fight. So I knew that these people were a serious, serious threat, and we needed to destroy them now. So I called the our, so I gathered together the leaders of five other cities, and we brought all our armies together, and we marched toward Gibeon, and we attacked it. And of course, the leaders of Gibeon called for Joshua, and they marched through the night, and, but we were prepared to fight them. And when they arrived, we started fighting. But there is just so much confusion. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, our soldiers started turning against each other. All of a sudden, they didn't know what to do. They weren't following orders. And so we had to call a retreat. And we started running away. And we climbed over a mountain. And we started coming down. Oh my goodness, hailstones started falling on our people. It was insane. Saying I had never seen hail like this before. I was able to dodge in one of the, the caves, but hails just kept going down and down and down. And I, and I know, I know more of our soldiers died from the hailstones than anyone died from the sword. It was insane. Finally, the hailstone started going and our people made it down the hill and we were running across the valley it was starting to get night and i thought in an hour it would be dark and we would be safe man but boy was i wrong we kept going and going and going and i knew that more than an hour get, went by and pretty soon a couple hours went by and the sun had not moved an inch. Three, four, five hours, nothing. The sun stayed where it was. Who has ever heard of such a crazy thing? The sun did not set. It stayed in the sky, and that gave the Israelite army all they needed to attack us and to destroy us. And now I'm in hiding, having been completely completely defeated and I don't get it I don't know what happened how is it possible that these hailstones defeated us how is it possible that the sun stayed in the sky and did not move and I guess there is only one possible conclusion you can have that one possible thing is that the God of Joshua, the God of the Israelites, must be real. He must be the true God, and he must be really, really for Israel. Man, that is just incredible. Man. Have you ever heard of anything as amazing as that? They God listened to a guy and he followed his command and he made the sun stand still all because God was for those people. Gosh, I've never heard of anything like that. But tell me if you have click the question mark next to the video there. Then click next to hear about what this story means. Isn't that incredible? God was 
for Israel. But do you know that God is for you too? That God will hear your prayers when you and answer you because he loves you and cares for you. And that is all because of Jesus. You know, in another verse in the Bible, in Romans, it says this. That if God is on our side, no one could possibly be against us. If God sent his very own son Jesus to die for us, how much more will he give us all things? Who could possibly even condemn us? Jesus died for our sins. And more than that, he rose again and is next to God making requests for us interceding for us man there is nothing that can separate us from god's love not life or death not angels or demons not things now or things in the future not even anything in the heavens or in the earth or under the earth absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of god that jesus gave to us wow isn't that incredible because that means that because of jesus we are just like joshua we can have the confidence and know that god is on our side and we can go to god and pray to him for the things that we need that is amazing so Back on the home page, you'll see some let's talk about it. And there are three questions there to help you think about this verse and what it means and to guide you into praying for what you need. So click on that as a family and have that conversation. Also, look at our arts and our games and our songs and our memory verse. Thank you.